Checking TLS peer public key instead of default verify procedure. My server software is using TLS with self-signed ED25519 for small size certificate. My client software is accessing said server. Considering I don't care about DNS, IP names, is it secure to disable standard TLS verification and compare peer public key against pre-shared in config? In pseudocode, context, goal is hidden and authenticated small binary message transport with lowest sensible network overhead. I don't have to use TLS. Most common message size 50 to 200 bytes. Code is open source. Eve can easily look it up. I control both client and server software and configuration. Deploying pre-shared keys is not an issue, but updating configuration often enough to replace ephemeral keys is not possible. Both sides use TLS 1.3. Overall I considered using custom implementation of length prefixed frames with AES GCM payload and ED25519 signature. It's very attractive on small network overhead but I could make silly mistakes in using crypto algorithms. Standard TLS library is the opposite, very trusted but considerable network overhead. Unfortunately available TLS implementation firmly sticks to concept of certificates. Sodium chloride secret box frames. Unsure about ephemeral keys and proper way to avoid sending nonces on network. Considering I don't care about DNS, IP names, is it secure to disable standard TLS verification and compare peer public key against pre-shared in config? ensuring that the key of the received certificate matches the expected key before any application data are exchanged is enough to provide the necessary authentication of the peer, i.e. all the other certificate validations regarding expiration, match of subject, could be skipped. The way TLS works it will still ensure that only the owner of the matching private key can actually use the certificate with a specific public key. Of course if an attacker gets access to the private key they could fake the server. Relying only on a fixed certificate also means that easy revocation and replacement of the certificate will not work, i.e. one would need to roll out a new version of the application instead with the new expected key.